Hello everyone, welcome back to another video for me, Beast of Honey. It is take two or take three, I don't know, I just forgot to put on my microphone. So yeah, let's start the video once again. Today I want to talk about the Brink of War event, the news event which we just got into the game with a news update. And I would like to call the Brink of War the pre-KVK event. Why so? Why this event is so important for your world, but also for your personal uh, ex uh, growing wa uh, weight? And what exactly all of these st uh, three stages are there, which you see at the top? All of this in this video. Alright guys, so before we're gonna go through the, the ranking and all the three stages, Let's start with the question of what exactly is Brink of War. But to answer that real quick, I already said it in the intro, quote unquote, in my opinion, it is a pre-KVK event. Why do I call it a pre-KVK event? Well, first of all, it having an, an in impact on your upcoming season, right? With a Worm reward, which we're gonna have a look on later. And we also can see it have a timeline, right? It's starting on July 13 and ends on July 18, and the season begins on July 19. So it's right away before the season starts. So you could call it a pre KVK event because you're also gonna have it every season right before it, right? So it's gonna be every time, every time when you go into the new season, you're gonna have this timeline, you're gonna have this event, it's, you know, it's gonna go over and over and over again. So that's are the two requirements for me to call it a pre-KVK. The RAM bonus, which you can receive from the ranking, and it's gonna be over and over and over and again in front of every season, which you're gonna start. Now, what exactly, or how do you get points? So how do we get points? We're gonna have a look on these three stages, which you see there at the top. The first stage is the PVP, uh, sorry, not PVP, PVE. So, you know, players versus AI, players, players versus non-players, however you want to call it. It is the PvE event. How do you get points? So, you need to defeat Shadow Trolls and Elite Shadow Trolls. They're going to spawn once this event begins on the map and you're having two days time to kill these trolls. Right. The normal ones is just like a normal barbarian. You're going to go and hack it and receiving points for that. Basically, if you five match it, you're getting 5k points, which is going to cost you around 150 CP. Elite Shadow Troll is one time 20k points for the realm and 4k for the person. So that means that is uh, probably like a fraud, right? So 150 CP receiving, uh, uh, giving you 20k points for the realm and 4k for the person, so you're losing 1k points, but you're giving your own worm 15k points more. So that's why I say everyone should do the lead shadow toward because at the end it's gonna help your worm. And I'm gonna show you also why this is gonna be important in just a minute. The second stage is the legendary troop training stage where the way is where everyone who's hoarding his speed ups and resources gonna push insane and gonna get the points for your worm and for your own, right? And pretty simple, like most of the, you know, um, most of the pushing events with tra uh, tra training. Train level 5 units giving the most points, and when the lower it goes, the less points you get. Pretty simple. And then the last stage is the resource or gem donation. You're having at the beginning 20 out of 20. I guess it's gonna be like we already know, you know, 30 minutes until you get another resource donation or one hour, something like that, it's gonna be. And if you're looking on the question mark over here, you're seeing that donate gold, wood, or mana, receiving one time 1k points and gems 3k points. So here, the ways have the option to get more points for the personal rewards, if you want so, and pushing with gems. Everyone else should probably just push with rewards, uh, resources, and yeah, that's it, all right? So the troop training is basically the stage where you're receiving like the millions of uh, millions of points, which you see over here, and the PVE event at the beginning. If you want to say so, it's gonna make kind of a difference between you know some stages. So for example, you see here top two and top three right now. It's very close, right? I know that 61 have uh, were more active, 
where they had like um 10 or 50 million uh, points ahead of uh, top uh, two right now of tfs server and uh yeah now you see the two planning here it's not it's it's like not even 14 hours into and you see already these points right and now why is this no way i'm getting server maintenance now um all right we, looks like i can continue all right let's go uh real quick here so why is this so important right important is because it's giving you a win bonus and personal bonus or rewards you can say okay. so we see here top one two and three giving you damage that bonus um based off the ranking three two and one percent top four is giving you c cp top five legion might be top six resource gathering and top seven to top 99 hero xp bonus so this is basically why you're fighting for it right the top one three percent extra damage it's insane guys holy shit look at like having have a look on the counter attack archer builds or the aoe damage builds from mages and then on top of that you're getting an extra an extra three percent damage juicy juicy you know that's why you're fighting for that's what i gonna fight for uh in 293 with my main i'm gonna push for the win bonus i'm not gonna push for the personal bonus i don't care about these the top rankings gonna be anyway to the whales you know we can push anyway way more so i don't really mind that if i getting i don't know top 20 getting 20 extra token i take it you know if i get with my uh, 25 main into that hey why not you know but i want to push for the win bonus i want to push for that and helping everyone inside the kingdom inside the server with that bonus inside the kvk right imagine now you're having 600 players active 600 active players so three alliances in your kingdom and every one of them having this bonus it is insane guys come on that's why you're pushing it for right so and that's it that's the event basically you know more is it not you have these three stages you're having some um extra rewards over here for pushing and shit and um that's it basically it's uh not much much more right you're having the personal and the uh, realm rewards which you uh, base on the placement which you get uh receive and yeah that's it you know that's uh that's event that's everything of uh the brink of war guide what do you need to know about that i hope you uh, this little video have helped you with understanding why this event is so important for yourself but also for the realm and yeah let me know in the comments what you think about that uh event if it's a good thing or a bad thing let me know guys otherwise i wish you a great rest of the day have a great start in the next day uh stay healthy everyone i thank you all for the support and with that i'm out guys and we see us on next one see ya guys